Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about uh, the new MPPT algorithm, nothing but uh, Tron Squadron Optimization MPPT. So here you can see that this is the uh, simulation model for uh, Tron Squadron Optimization MPPT. So if you want to know about the more detail on uh, Tron Squadron Optimization MPPT, so then you can go to this paper right so this paper is published in neural computing and uh, application about drone squadron optimization right so yes like uh, the command centers and the uh, some of team of drones in the landscape and then based on based upon the data uh, gathered from the drone right so it won't be process, processed in the command center and then based upon that it will send some Firmware to the uh, drones, okay, not to get the detail and uh, process the detail, okay. So, that kind of detail uh, that been based upon this uh, drone control, right? So, it uh, they implemented some optimization algorithm, nothing but uh, drone squad and optimization, okay. So, the same concept uh, here we are using uh, for MVPT algorithm also. So based upon that uh, transport and optimization concept here we implemented that uh, uh, MBPT is nothing but a maximum power point tracking algorithm for a PV system under partial shading condition. So for that here we have uh, three panel right. So each panel having uh, around 83.28 watts and then uh, is connected in series. So three panel connected in series. So three panel will be operated at 25 degrees Celsius, but the radiation of the three panel will be operated at a different level in order to create that pulse shading effect. Okay. So after that, this uh, the combination of these three panel or uh, three cells, right? So it will be connected to the load via this boost converter to boost the voltage from. Uh, so here we will get around 30 volt to 60 volt, 60 to 80 volt in the both side. Okay. And then uh, here we are providing the irradiation condition for the uh, three set of PV cells or PV panels. Okay. And then here we are measuring the voltage and current. Okay. Voltage and current of the PV panel. And then going to be process we have uh, triangle squad and optimization MPPT algorithm. So when go inside, right? So this is a code inside that. Uh, and drone squadron optimization MPPT. So, first we need to uh, send the different uh, duty cycle and then we have to uh, collect the voltage and current and we have to find out the maximum power. So, from that maximum power, we have to find out the local best uh, of the uh, local best for that uh, specified drone and then global best of the specified drone. So, based upon that, we have to apply that. Uh, uh, drone squad and optimization algorithm. So, so this is drone squad optimization algorithm. <coughs> <coughs> so it will be uh, generated the that means it will be to find the uh, optimal uh, uh, duty cycle based upon the uh, power of the PV panel. Okay. So finally, optimal duty cycle will be sent to that. Uh, process via PDLM generator right so the duty cycle uh, uh, taken from that uh, dragon squad and optimization is going to be processed via uh, PDLM generator so the PDLM generator is going to be generate the duty cycle so here you will get uh, sorry here you will get that PDLM pulse okay so this PDLM pulse is going to be used to for control this IGBT in order to extract the maximum power from the PV, PV panel during partial shading condition as well as to boost the voltage from a low level to high level according with the load requirement okay uh, so before that i am going to explain the detail here so here i am going to fix irradiation the same kind of PV panel uh, is taken here so here i am going to fix the irradiation is equal to 1000 and then here i am going to make uh, 300 and then i am going to simulate this one so here you will see that uh, the three panel operated uh, three different level of irradiation so then here you will see that uh, iv and uh, pv characteristics of the considered three panel okay so from that you can see that it have three uh, different kind of peaks okay 
so here you can see that uh, this two right this two will be considered as a local peak and then this uh, peak will be considered as a global peak okay so this global peak should be <coughs> tracked by means of maximum power point tracking algorithm without trap in that uh, local uh, peak point or local peak power okay so for that only here we are using a uh, track and squadron optimization mbpg okay so here you can see that mm -hmm. the global peak right so global peak power is around 104.5 watts okay so here i am going to click this one so it have only 71.91 and this one having 83.48 right so uh, from uh, comparing this three peak level so this is having highest level so this is going to be considered as a considered as a global uh, peak point right so this global peak point need to be extracted by means of uh, optimization algorithm right so here i'm going to fix the same kind of condition and then i'm going to simulate the system and then you have to check the result of the uh, PV power, right? So, what kind of PV power we are getting, you have to check, right? So, here you will you can see that so PV power is uh, nearer to that uh, maximum power point. So, we will check uh, that now you can see that, right? It reaches that uh, maximum power point level. So, it's around uh, 1 not 1 not 3 or 1 not. 4 right so it will reach the day to extract the maximum power according with the, uh, the partial shading condition of that uh, PV panel okay and then this is a load power so this is a PV voltage this is load voltage so this is PV current this is load current okay so this is for particular condition now I am going to change the uh, irradiation condition to 600 here 600 and then I am going to submit the this model and then you have to check the uh, detail here you can see that here uh, they have three uh, only two irradiation levels so one is one uh, one thousand another one is two six hundred for this two p panel so that's why we are getting only two peak points right so in this peak point uh, this will be local peak and this will be global right so here you can check the peak point value right peak point power value is around 158 so here it will be 71.79 right so we need to extract the uh, this point from the mbpt algorithm so here i am going to change to 600 and then i am going to execute the model right and then we will check the detail so here you can see that it try to find the peak point right so it is towards to that uh, peak power point right and it it take it take uh, around uh, i think one seconds right so it's now you can see that it reaches near to that uh, uh, peak power point right so for uh, for different uh, irradiation level condition also that uh, tron squadron optimization will be to extract the maximum power from the pv panel under uh, partial shading condition so here you can see this uh, PV voltage, load voltage, and then this is PV current, load current, right? So during that partial shading condition. So this is the working of uh, Tron score and optimization in MPT for a uh, PV system under partial shading condition. Thanks for watching the videos. Kindly subscribe to the channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.